It's a common misconception in the Fortnite community that once you get out of Diamond, Elite is going to be a breeze. This is because Diamond 1, Diamond 2 and Diamond 3 are three individual ranks, whereas Elite only has the singular Elite rank. Therefore, many people think that it's going to be quicker to get through Elite despite it being a harder difficulty. Now, this is not the case. Elite is much, much more difficult and the progress is very, very slow. Even if you drop high kill wins, you barely move up percent and it can get very, very frustrating to try and play. So in today's video, I'm going to focus on the most advanced and technical tips in order to help you guys rank up through Elite and get onto Champion and then Unreal as quick as you guys can in Fortnite Chapter 5. If this video does help you out, please make sure to smash a like and subscribe. We are currently very, very close to 3,000 subscribers. If you guys are seeing this, please make sure to head down below and smash that subscribe button. Now, without further ado, we're going to start off with the beginning of the game and move through with all my tips. Let's get you guys out of Elite. So to start off getting out of Elite, we want to analyse the early game section of the game as this is very important and key in setting yourselves up to be how successful you are in the game. Now, obviously, we have talked about drop spots and by now you should be going to a regular drop spot, which could be on the outskirts of the map if you're looking to play more safe or a name location if you're looking to play more aggressive. But again, a drop spot which you're familiar with and which you go to every single game to build consistency within your game. Now, we're going to start off talking about how to get to that drop spot as quick as possible because I know a lot of common problems that we all face is dying off spawn as let's face it that's the only way in which you lose progress at a decently fast rate is due to off spawn deaths so now i'm going to show you guys a tool that is going to help you win off spawn a lot more okay so this tool right here is what is called a drop map now as we all know when we load into the game we get a bus route now this bus route varies game on game again it's never really going to be the same from one game to the next so every time we load into the game we're going to get a new bus now what you guys need to have open is landingtutorial.com on another tab. Now I'll leave this link in the description down below if you guys would like to use that link obviously to get this exact website and this is free. So let's say we pick our drop spot. So for me my drop spot is going to be here which is this radio station sort of tower complex north of Classy. You simply place your pinpoint marker on your drop spot so as we place it there and then we have the bus route. So let's say the bus route is just going north of Rebels Roost down past hazy and we're going to place it just like that and that is our bus route now what we will do is when we have pinpointed our drop spot and we've pinpointed the bus route obviously this is all we're just saying this is the bus route for the sake of it you then hit find best drop now what this does is it tells you exactly where you're going to want to jump out of the bus so we're going to want to jump out of the bus my bad let's re-click that we're going to want to jump out of the bus right here again just under rebels roost just past sort of lavish lair and then once we get alongside lavish lair we're going to want to glide all the way obviously not pulling out our glider because pulling out our glider is slower but we want to get all the way to this portion right here on the map which is where we're wanting it to auto pull our glider as you can see the glider emoji so again that's where you want it to pull your glider automatically not because you guys have optionally pulled your glider so you're going to want to jump out here and then pull your glider there and that will get you to your drop as soon as possible now this works all across the map again if we literally change the bus route over here and then we change our pinpointer let's take our pinpointer and let's say we want to land i don't know this complex down here in the very southwestern corner of the map and we hit find best drop it tells you exactly when you should jump out so you should jump out just above the big hill again skydive and glide your way all the way over to this point here where it should let you automatically pull your glider at 100 meters high and therefore you can then glide all the way over to your drop spot in the bottom left of the map so again make sure this is tailored to your own drop spot it's very very useful very very helpful to allow you guys to drop first in game and as i will show you guys and have you guys have seen is just an example of where you guys can drop first and then get a free frag or a free kill which could be really really useful in trying to delay your progress obviously delay your progress if you die off spawn continue to grow your progress as that early game kill means a lot in elite but again just a little tip which is very very helpful so next up, I want to focus on the mid game section of today's video and where you should be rotating to and whether you should be looking to fight. Now, again, this is going to focus for a calm and aggressive player. So I will explain both separately. Starting off with the calm play style, again, you're going to have wanted to land low key. Now, once you've got your loot and landed low key, you're going to want to rotate dead side. Mostly, if you rotate dead side, you're going to stay away from the players with the medallions, which tend to be the better and more W key heavy players in the lobby. 
Any player which you run into on dead side, you may be able to take a fight if you are a confident fighter, as quite often these players will not be the greatest players and therefore you can take advantage and get some nice frags. Especially as mid game kills mean a lot towards your ranking and if you're able to pick up one or two kills, that will suffice making you guys good progress per game. Now, if we're talking about the aggressive playstyle again, once you guys have come off spawn, if you have not come away from a medallion, if you dropped aggressive off spawn, so let's say you dropped like Reckless Railways, for example, or maybe someone that doesn't have a medallion that is still aggressive, like Pleasant Piazza, for example, or something like that. If you guys have come away and you are unsuccessful in having the medallion, what you then want to do is, let's say you've got one or two kills off spawn, you want to make sure you've got good mats and you're fully prepared with all your ammo and mats for ready for a mid-game fight, and then you're going to want to push over towards that player with the medallion. Reason being, if you kill the player with the medallion, you therefore have shield regen and you don't need to hold shield and you can W key for the rest of the game. And also you have a lot more confidence. So altogether, it just works really, really well. But again, that's both the calm and aggressive play styles in terms of your mid game fights. So now we're going to move on to talking about which game modes you should be playing in order to gain the most progress. Now again, there's not a set game mode, and I know I talked about this in my Unreal Rank Up video and my Diamond Rank Up video. Please feel free to check them out if you haven't already, and smash that subscribe button while we're here. But again, there's not a particular mode that does anything quicker than the other. My personal favourite modes to play are solos and squads. If you're a good solo fighter, then it is very, very easy to pick up progress just by getting a couple mid-game fights. Again, once you secure that medallion, you can continue keying. Now, as we quickly talk about the medallion, the medallions have actually been nerfed in the recent update. Again, if you've only got one medallion, that takes, I think it's, there's a certain time before it starts healing you up and it only heals you up to 50 shields. So again, you will need to be carrying big pots now if you are going to fight for that medallion. But it sort of balances out the lobby means there's not really one player running around stomping the whole lobby. So definitely a better opportunity for you to pick up some mid game kills. But like I was saying, I think solos is one of the good game modes because you gain a lot of points if you kill another player of your rank because they view as a good player within the rank and squads especially if you guys can just run through your lobby if you have three very similar skilled friends that works particularly well in trying to gain you guys progress now again i've talked about in my previous video there is a lot of different creative maps to help you guys improve so we're not going to go too far into them in today's video but again if you're looking to just improve your fightings focus on speed realistic 1v1s again this is all in my previous video if you guys are looking to find all this information out it will help you out but in terms of just improving your fighting speed realistic 1v1 ones martos turtle wars is very very good for your box fight opponents but again you're going to want to be focusing on your main middle game and obviously early game fights as they're the ones that tend to be the most scuffed when you don't have good enough loot now let's talk about the end game of these ranked games which is the final section of today's video so the last section is going to be on your end game fighting and what you should do end game. Now most often if you're playing duos for example you might get like a 10 player half and half or even less than that because these games tend to die out very very quickly but a few things I want to touch on is kills later in the game are worth a lot more. Now the reason behind this is because people at the end of the game are viewed by the ranking system as better players because they have survived until the end. So if you take out a player in the top two teams you're going to gain more progress than if you took out somebody in the top 49 teams if that makes sense for example. Obviously because they are viewed as a good player within that rank and therefore if you've eliminated them you are viewed as a very good player within that rank. So Epic's ranking system works in the fact that it's going to rank you up really, really well. So again, just a balance of an overview of what we're going to be doing in our games. You're going to be landing low key off spawn, looking to pick up one or two mid game kills. Again, you can go for that medallion if you want, but that has since been nerfed. So there's not huge emphasis on it. You don't need it particularly. But again, you're looking for one to two mid game points to cover the bus fare as there is bus fare in this rank. So bus fare is going to take off a little bit of your percent when you start the game, which is why you want to make sure you're making it off spawn uh, consistently which again is why I showed you guys the drop calculator or uh, the map drop spots obviously to get the best drop to your drop but again you guys want to just be making sure you're getting to their mid game fights fighting those mid game fights and then getting towards end game where you can look to eliminate a few more people to really boost up that percent obviously getting the win instead of coming second helps you guys gain percent as well but that's the main sort of play style we have in order to rank up through elite and one thing i would also like to say at the end of today's video is guys i'm going to be looking to do some more tournament videos very very soon or some actual ranked gameplay videos if that is something you guys would like to see please leave a comment down below and smash a like on this video to let me know that Anyway, without further ado, thank you everyone for watching today's video. I really hope it has helped you out. Make sure you've dropped a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. That's all from me.